everyone. Um, today's reading is going to be about um, how would they answer questions under a lie detector. So basically it's digging into the truth of what they think about you in a relationship. We've got sort of questions like do they find you physically attractive, do you make them nervous, what do they tell their friends about you, um, if they could guess your star sign, what would they guess? Uh, what do they want from you? That sort of thing. So we'll go through it. It's 10 questions in all. Um, so if you'd like to pick either deck one, deck two, or deck three, then we'll get started. Okay, so deck one first, which is the Botticelli Tarot. I, I always shove them to the side and I have no idea which order I shove them off in, so we'll get started anyway. Right, ten questions in all, so let's go. I have shuffled beforehand by just giving a little shuffle. diplomatic but I'm going to try and answer these honestly as possible so do they find you physically attractive is the first question um, and the answer is definitely yes they find your softness they find the fact that you seem receptive to their advances if they have made them or thinking of making them that you would be very kind, very gentle. You've got that sort of, if you're a male, it doesn't matter either way, there's sort of feminine, soft, kind, generous quality about you and that's what they find attractive. If you're one of those, um, if, you're, if you're female and you're, you wear dresses in the summer um, that show off your figure, they would find that attractive more so than the dark, mysterious type. They would like somebody who um, was just generally feminine. I'm having an image of making sure that you're, that if you're female, that your waist is shown, that your dress is flowing. That's what they would find attractive. Long hair, hair tied up with bits falling down. Um, if you're male, it would be, they would find the fact that you wear soft jumpers and that you are kind and open. That sort of... soft, welcoming feeling they get from you is what they find attractive, regardless of your whether of your sex, whether you're male or female. Okay, their thoughts the first time that they saw you were, oh, best card. The thoughts the first time they saw you was just genuine love, just that. I have seen that person who I want. It's that overflowing of emotion when you feel like you're almost purring inside your chest and that's how they would have felt when they first saw you. It's like almost like uncontrollable. It's that rush, that big hearted feeling that you get when you are really excited and you can't hold it down. It's almost, it's soft and it's gentle. Both this, these, these cards are really, really soft, really open and very loving and very gentle. So I'm just getting a general feeling that the person that you're reading for is probably either a very watery sign, not that you can get very watery signs, they're either watery or not. So it's Pisces, Cancer um, or Scorpio. I'm thinking Pisces, Cancer feel here. It might not be their sun sign, it's something that's strong in their chart. And they are very open to new emotional beginnings and they have almost a dreamy quality about them that they are actually openly looking for that in somebody and when they've seen you you have fit the bill everything about you has fit the bill they've seen a reflection of themselves in you that gentleness that they have inside of them they have seen it in you and without a doubt there's no question about that one Okay, 
Do they stalk your social media? Definitely yes. Uh, I wouldn't even think they'd put hide it. If they do stalk it, I don't know if they would hide it. Perhaps in the, you're in the situation where you are still hiding it. The reason I'm saying yes is this is the card of Uranus um, and Aquarius, which rules social media. So that these cards are really, really easy to read. There's definite answers for me. So yes, that is without a doubt. They probably like the fact that they have immediate access to you, that if they click onto whatever social media you've got, they can see you straight away. They can, you know, they're updated in what you're doing and they would really enjoy that. Not much more you can say about that. Okay, if they could guess your star sign, what would they say? This might be a difficult one to read. Okay, nine of... Mm. They would guess, I can't really say a star sign here because it's out of the way that they see you here. So I would guess that if you, they see you similar to them as being quite watery, maybe a little bit shy, maybe very sensitive, they can see that you have slight anxiety around them. Not regarding them, but just basically, you, you might be quite shy yourself, you might find social situations quite difficult. So if they were gonna guess, your star sign, they would probably guess something more introverted like a cancer, if they see you, you too similar. I mean, Pisces is shy, but it's different because it, cancer is more protective, which I'd probably get from you. That Pisces don't seem to have that anxiety the same, although they're very shy. So it'd be almost a virgo -y maybe. I know this is an air sign, but I'm not, I'm not getting that with what's come so far. So maybe Virgo is somebody who's a little bit anxious, who worries, who likes everything to be just so. My main guess would be Cancer. Maybe Cancer strong in your chart. Maybe Pisces. There could be Scorpio. It's either water or air so far. I know Virgo's neither. But there's just generally that feeling of softness, but with a slight shyness and a slight anxiety. And that's probably, if, they, if I can't guess your star sign, that's the feeling that you're giving them. It's just giving me more of an indication of how they see you. So after your star sign. What body part do they find most attractive? I might need more cards for this because I'm just basically looking at the card rather than reading it. Okay, your hair. Yeah, I don't need another card. Your hair is the thing that you find most attractive. If you've got long hair, especially if it's um, that sort of big, free-flowing hair, that's what they find most attractive. You know, if you have that sort of image of, um, with to tie it in with this card here, what they find physically attractive about you, and what do they, um, what part, body part they like most. Here we talked about the fact if you're very feminine, you wear like feminine dresses, or just you show off the feminine part of yourself so if you've got like um, a small waist or then your hair's falling down your back that's what they would notice about you that sort of thing or the way that you tie your hair up they could notice your neck or the back of your neck or just something that's very feminine about you if your this reading is for a man the things that they will notice about you is probably this upper part of your chest so you've probably got maybe a wide chest um, you probably might have like big hair either way, but there's something on the upper part of your body that is quite masculine about you. You could have like that sort of square face look, um, <laughs> just a large upper part of your body. When I think when I'm saying this, when I when I'm saying Leo, I know this man's got Leo rising, but I'm thinking like Jake Gyllenhaal. He's so. If you see the, he's almost got his top half his body is slightly, I don't know, to me, he just seems Leo. And he hasn't even got big hair. But his persona, the way he comes across is very warm and very open. Um, so if you're a man, that might be the image, that you, the image, I know it's not physically, but you seem open and warm and receptive and there will be something about the top half of your body if you're a woman there will be something they will find they find you extremely feminine and i can't say which part of your body my first that exactly with this card but it's the hair there's something you do with your hair it could be the way that you style it it could be um 
how it they've 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 smelt it it's just something with your hair that attracts them okay one two three four five six do you make them nervous no no this person I would guess tries to make you feel relaxed because if they can sense a slight anxiety with you they seem somebody who's quite grounded and quite kind and quite giving and this is the type of person um, who I'm not saying they've, they've seen you being nervous but I would say that they would not want you to be that they would make everything easy they would make the conversation flow they would keep things practical um, and they would want to keep any sort of anxiety out of the your, your communication and because they probably don't think that way they probably are in the situation and they're grounded and they're just dealing with what's happening at the moment and when you're nervous it's almost like you're almost looking forward all the time it's an anxiety of what could happen next and this is the opposite from depression which is when you're always looking back and you're thinking gosh you know you're bringing things with you but no, this, this person, you don't make them nervous. And not because they don't find you attractive, because they do. And you've seen that from the cards up here. But just because generally the type of person they are is probably quite grounded, quite practical. And they, don't, they wouldn't see that somebody with a lot of earth inside of them would not see why you would be nervous. Why they should be nervous. And I can remember asking or talking to a child once. Um, and I was probably... I was a lot younger and this child was probably about seven or eight and they were talking about shyness and being nervous and this this child was very solid very earthy and they could not get their head around why somebody would be nervous and it was just absolutely fascinating to me because like, well, do you mean you're nervous why but this person would be the same what do they tell their friends about you Okay, they tell their friends that, that you seem to be very at ease with yourself and that you seem to be very comfortable in your lifestyle. That you are very independent and they know that you don't need them. They, well, that's what they will be telling their friends, as if you're sort of one of those characters that are laid back, at ease with themselves, just get on with things. But you've almost sorted yourself out in your life that you feel quite as if you've got everything. As in you might have you you might have had relationships that have made you happy, you might have um, a home life that makes you happy, you might be financially stable, you might be stable in work, but to, they would be telling their friends this that you seem to have the whole package and not in a flashy way you've got the whole package, but you're just easy yourself you've got the whole lot, and that's probably what they would be telling their friends and she seems to, she's got everything. You know, she's basically, they, they, they think that you are ideal because you seem to be, you know, this like ace of, not a yeah, ace of cups here. But what they felt when they first saw you is they felt everything, everything that they ever wanted to feel when they see somebody, they felt it when they, they first saw you and they feel that you've got everything already inside you. Inside, you know, they probably see the way that you live your life and that you're quite content. So this is a really nice, calm, mature reading not from me, but the cards, um, where your, your person seems lovely. He's, he really does, or she really does, seem to have everything sussed in a very mature way. They find you very, very attractive, but not in a, uh, this might go a bit wrong at the end, but in a way that's just really, just really attractive, a really attractive person. Okay. How will they sum up your sex life? Now, if you, have, if you don't have a sex life, this is what they might imagine. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It gets it gets better. It They will sum up your sex life. Um, it gets better if you are watery. If you are fiery and you're reading this and you're looking for something um, totally different, then no, it doesn't get better, better. But if you are, if you want a more solid, loving relationship, this pile so far, I couldn't make it any better. Um they sum up your sexual relationship as totally complete as in they want to um be married to you have a family emotionally it's everything they want now if you are fiery and you're looking for the eight of wands you haven't got it in this pile this pile is really sweet really mature 
you know, the type of person that would want to bring the best out in you and you're the same with them is if you really nurture each other or if you're not together yet, there is that strong, strong feeling that that is possible or that's what you would both want in a relationship. What would they say? Their favourite, okay, the next one, what would they say was their favourite moment with you? Okay, their favourite moment with you was when this person, this is when we were saying that we haven't had any fire in here. Now, this their favourite moment contradicts this slightly, but not their personality. In the fact, their favourite moment with you was when they were more forward and you were doing some sort of activity together. You were doing something together that was that they possibly would take the initiative with and giving you something or suggested something and you were going out and doing some t something together that was like an adventure or a fresh experience or just something that was fun. It could have been a night out, it could have been an activity, it could be going out in the car. It was something that was vivacious, energetic. I'm just wondering if these two fit together. Um, and fun. Something outgoing, probably something outdoors, something sporty, traveling. King of Wands, what else could that possibly be? Let me put another one on that one, just because I'm nosy. Our favorite moment together. Now this person, in his favorite moment, it, he was taking the lead. He might appear soft and gentle, and he probably is, but for some reason in this moment, he was coming towards you. He offered you something. It was his initiative, and it was something that's quite fiery. Okay, I've got a funny feeling it was just the two of you. There's something together that you have done with nobody else around you. <laughs> But um, it, could, it could even be something like, because the hermit here is like improving yourself internally and the king of wands is quite fiery and I'm just wondering whether it's like some sort of meditation, some sort of retreat you've both been on or something you've done together. This is definitely you two together and it's something that's inward looking which contradicts the fact I've just said fiery and outgoing adventurous. So I'm trying to put the two together. I mean it could almost be like some sort of spiritual retreat, some sort, it could be travelling together which has made a big impact on you both and it could be learning something together that you've done together. It's something where you've got together, just the pair of you and it's made an impact inside yourselves as but it could have been something you were doing outside does that make sense no you know if you're young this is what i'm thinking this is trying to explain it so if you can fit it to your situation if you are young what you might have done is you might have got you don't have to be young i'm just thinking of people in the situation you might have got together to study just the two of you have got together to study and that's their favorite memory you could have, you know, you could have called each other up to share some ideas about what class you're in, um, or you know what lessons you're doing. Or if you're older, it could be some sort of heart to heart about some. You've actually had a conversation about something that's meant a lot to you. You know, something you've you've delved out. It's like a heart to heart conversation. About something that makes you tick internally. Okay, well that's what I'm getting from that. I mean, that is all I'm getting from that at the moment. But I'm still quite nosy about that one. Okay, last card. What do they want from you? Oh, they want you. Oh, this pack is so love. This this pack is lovely. They want you to be their queen of wands. This pack is really, really strong and really, really easy. It's really sincere, really, 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 really sincere, really warm, really open and really loving. So if this person, if you know them already, you probably know that you are with the right person. If you're not with them already, um, 
this man or woman has a really, really, really lovely feel about them. Something really genuine and sincere. And you're just meant to be, it's as if you are just meant to be together. You've got the Ten of Cups, you've got the Ace of Cups, you know, and they've got this general mature feeling of this person coming towards you and wanting the best for you. They might see that you're slightly anxious in certain situations. They don't want that. They don't want to feel one up as if they've got, you know, that, that they feel like, oh yeah, he or, he or she likes me more. You know, that sort of general situation. This person wants the best out of you. And they can see your strength. Um, and they find you very, very attractive. And they find you very attractive in a... Not just a sexual way. In a way that they want to spend time with you. And, and I would almost say they want to spend a long... I don't say long time. Long term. They're looking for a long term relationship. Okay, these cards are just, I mean, what more can you, what more do you want? You've got you two together here, that's what they want. You've got his approach or her approach to you is just gentle and loving. The first time they've seen you, they've, 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 they've spotted you, it's just open, open feelings and emotions here. They're even stalking social media. And the only negative card we've got is this one. It's basically that they might see you as a little bit of a warrior. So you could be Virgo. You, they might be attracted to you because this person to me is somebody who's like um, very solid. He's very, he or she is very mature. And they might see a slight anxiety in you or will you, you worry about something. It might not be them. It might be some situation they've seen you go through. And that's the only thing that they want to do is make you feel better about that. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna stop there because I would just take that and run. Well, well done with that pack. Pound number one. If you like it, could you? Hi, pile number two. I have pulled all your cards over. I have been totally shocked by them, and I've basically gone in the wrong order and read them. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to go through them with you now in the correct order because the way that I was reading them with these two cards here will have a totally different meaning. So I'm gonna start again for you to tell you exactly um, what I've read and these two cards here which have shocked me in some way. And it was funny, it was a funny way to see if they've got a different meaning. So your first card here is do they find you physically attractive? And I basically said you can't find a better um, card in the deck for physical attraction. This person when they sees you is really sexually attracted to you. There's no other way to say it. They find you extremely sexually attractive the fact that you are their sexual ideal and that's what they think. The second question was, their thoughts the first time they saw you and their thoughts the first time they saw you were one of two things. Either they felt from the situation that you were in when they first saw you that you were very emotional or they felt you were very creative. Yeah, hold on. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I just thought of something, but I don't know if it's going to fit in, so I'm going to leave that there and come back to that. But number three, do they stalk your social media? No, they don't. I had the general feeling they don't stalk your social media because you have uh, either they're afraid of getting caught or you have stopped them stalking at your social media. For some reason, you might have cut them off due to an argument or something. Okay, your next one was this one. So they could, ah, okay, it makes sense. If they could guess your star sign, because this, yeah, this is making sense. If they could guess your star sign, what would they say? Okay, I reckon they, they think that you are a Scorpio or something that embodies what is typically a Scorpio. You have that either personality that likes to turn things upside down, that's quite shocking, or you might have the appearance of somebody that doesn't conform to what the given appearance is of your um, environment or basically of your culture. So you might be, if you um, if you're in an old people's home and you've got tattoos up your arm and you wear stilettos, that's you. If you are... Um, if you are a primary school teacher and you wear um, a basque to school, that's you. If you um, 
if you're a prostitute and you wear frilly dresses um, and pearls and a, a knitted short, that's you, that is you, that's how they see you. So whatever um, the star sign, that, well, sorry, what their star sign is something, it could be Uranus as well, there could be because it's quite shocking. It, I'm getting there's something quite, their perception of you is something that is a shocker. As in, not, you're not shocking, but that you are different and that you'd like to think turn things upside down. You're different from all the other people and that's what they find attractive about you. You're different from all the other people around you. So they would see you, Pluto, a bit darker, a bit more mysterious, like to Aries as well, possible. They might see you as Aries with that sort of ability to basically change situations with a devil... Devil don't give a shit, I don't know what that was, devil may care. Um, attitude, so I'm thinking Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, that's what they would guess if they saw you, if they could guess your star sign. If it's male, um, there's not, not that many men that are that interested in that, but if they are, if you're male, then, then that's what they would guess, or if you're female, it doesn't make a difference. What body part they find most attractive about you? My guess here would be that it's your legs. If you are sporty or if you run or if you do any type of sports, you've probably got legs that are quite, um, I would say, quite muscular. And that's what I would get from that card there. It's basically, it's movement. It's getting away from situations. So they, and the fact that you can see so much so much leg there, they would like probably like find your legs very attractive. You might have very long legs. You might have very lean legs. Uh, there's just something that's really sexy about your legs. Something very nice about the way that your legs fit in your clothes. If you're female and you wear dresses, it will be the way that your dress actually fits on your legs or the way that they can see the shape of your legs through your dress that's what I'm getting from that one do you make them nervous no you don't make them nervous you make them feel good about themselves you make them feel as if they're a better person and they can cope with everything so no you don't make them nervous what they tell your friend their friends about you they tell their friends that you are very in control of yourself they probably they tell their friends you're very intellectual that you're um that you're and clever is the word I'm thinking there. Somebody who's very good with their words, somebody who's very controlled, somebody who's very fair, very honest, um, just a balanced. They just think you, you are cool. They probably tell their friends that you're a cool person, as in you could be, from these cards here, if you've got a mixture of um, Aquarius and Aries in you, you're probably one of those people that are quite interested, quite a snappy dresser, somebody who likes tight fitting clothes, um, is quite neat and tidy and organised and they will be telling their friends that that's what they find attractive about you, that you're an altogether person. Right, again, this is making sense to me now, so... How are they some of your sexual relationship? Now this card is actually a really, really sexual card. So I would say they find, especially with this card here, see these ones that threw me last time, I realized I'd read them in the wrong order. They will find your sexual relationship, one or two things on both extremes. Either you're not having one and they want it, or that you are in a sexual relationship that has totally blown their mind because both of these cards are really sexual. It is probably, if, if you are in a sexual relationship together with this card, how they see you, that is probably the most sexually intense relationship they've ever had. If you aren't in a sexual relationship with them, there's no doubt that is a strong pull towards you. That is what they want with you. The last pile before, just to put it into context, the last pile before was really sweet, very loving, very nurturing. I'm not saying that's not there, but at the moment, the energy that this, that they would say if they were under a lie detector is that they want to have sex with you. 
to. <laughs> She's basically, that's all I'm picking up on that one. Their favourite moment with you is something, ah, this makes sense. Their favourite moment with you is something where you have been out together, you have been out drinking, you've been out partying, you've been out having fun, and they look back at that, mo that moment and it makes them laugh. It makes, it's funny, it's, it's childlike, it's spontaneous, and it's something you have done sociably or in a sociable situation that has, that makes them smile. It's been some fun night out, something you've done together that is sociable, that's not work, and that's been their best moment with you. And what do they want from you? They want you to move towards them, and they want you to do it fast, and they want you to communicate with them, because they, re they think you're good at communicating. That's what they want from you. Okay, this person, to sum up, because I've been reading this power for a long time, um, this person wants sex with you, they want you to come forward to them. They talk to their friends about you being really controlled and being almost quite cool. Um, you know, you're quite a, I get the impression you're one of those sort of people who are different, different from everybody else around you. I'm getting this more edgy feel about you. You know, um, I'm thinking hippie and tattoos and that sort of look. But, but as I said before, whatever the, it is, it's you're different from the environment. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. So if you're not some sexy-legged hippie with tattoos, I might have got you wrong, but take the rest of it to see what resonates. If you like it, can you like the... Uh, can you Can you press the like button, don't like the like button, um, and subscribe so you get some more. Um, I hope that helps you, because that was a, that was a long read. Okay. Pile. Pile number two. Three, pile number three, okay. Oh gosh, okay. Shaking off pile number two, which I, Got the order on. Then I have to read for about three hours. Okay, pile number three. So, if your person had taken a truth serum or was under a lie detector test, or what would they say about you if there was like they weren't trying to hide their feelings, or if they, there was something in their way that just happened that they were dealing with? If they were just telling the basic, basic truth, wouldn't life be great if it was all like liar, liar? No, not really, no. We were talking about this yesterday we were with friends and saying, you know, what would life be like if it was like liar and liar? And, you know, what would you say to your boss? And um, you'd be out of a job the next day. And it was, yeah, it was funny. Okay, so what would they say? Here you go. I'm going to try to get these in the right order this time. What would they say? about you under a lie detector test. So number one, do they find you physically attractive? Yes, they most certainly do. This is um, a really, really sexually attractive card, probably one of the most attractive cards, apart from the last pile, um, who had the Ace of Wands. So, but you still got in there. So there you are. Um, yep, without a doubt, they find you sexually attractive because they feel that you are their sexual equal. They feel that you could be their sexual mate, that you are going to be quite, um, what's the word? Oh, I'm going to be promiscuous. I don't actually mean that at all. It's just this woman here. Is like, they, you are sexually on par with each other. They're, you're going to meet them the same energy that they are going to come towards you at. And you're not going to be shy. You're going to be open. And you're going to be one of those people that show that you um, is what you want. Okay, so that's the answer to that, and that's, that is really clear to me. They find you very, very sexually attractive because you probably match them in what they are giving out. So it's like the hot mama card. Okay, um, thoughts the first time they saw you. Okay, the first time they saw you was different from how they see you now or how they find you sexually. They probably found you very mature, but almost in a um, controlled way. So if, I don't know the situation when you first saw each other, you could have been quite controlled. You could have had to act mature, but that is how they saw you. They saw you controlled. They thought you were in charge. They thought you were intellectual and in control of yourself in a way that was almost holding back. That's what they would have thought. 
that's not what they think now. That's not how they think you are when you are just you of two together or how it could be if you two were together. So the appearance you gave out when they first saw you was totally different from how either how they see you now or how they see you would respond sexually. Do they stalk your social media? No, they don't. Because they are too anxious of being found out stalking. And if they do, there's some anxiety behind it that they don't want to be known to be always how often they look at it. That's um, there's some sort of anxiety there where they feel like they want to, but they can't because they're too scared of getting caught out or they just want to make it if they're still looking cool as if they're still you know if they if you are already in contact socially they don't want to appear as if they're overdoing it because they'll start feeling anxious inside that they're probably coming on a bit too strong that sort of thing there's some anxiety with that and i don't quite know what but it's either yes they do but it's it's there's an anxiety control with it or no they don't at all because they are just too scared of clicking on the wrong button and you finding out okay if they could guess your star sign, what would it be? Oh my gosh. Okay. I would guess from this, not so much from the card itself, but from the meaning behind the card that they will probably think of you. Somebody who likes to, with these as well, it's somebody who likes to watch. So I'm getting Aquarius. Um, Somebody who likes to watch and not give out that much, but that is not in relation to how they see you sexually. It's something reserved. So you could be either be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or um, Libra. Less so Libra, I don't know. But it's somebody who likes to watch and is in their head a lot. There's something really airy to me about that because they're almost they're the same person. If I'm not getting feelings, I'm getting thoughts. So they would be airy. I don't really get a practical feel from it, so it's not earth. And there's no fire there apart from sexually. They probably see you as some air sign. You might not be, but this is how they view you, but with some fire in there as well. They think that you're controlled and you like to give the appearance of being controlled. That's probably why they're quite anxious, maybe, of not, not knowing that they're, you're stalking them, if that they're stalking you. But there's, or they, they think that you can be quite passionate as well. Somebody, see, I'm not going to say Earth because you could almost say somebody who likes to weigh things up before they may make a decision or they make a choice. So that could be Libra, but there's almost, there's, I don't get Earth. I'm getting an air feeling from this. You are probably somebody who. Um, has the qualities of some of um, being quite logical, quite controlled, um, not giving out that so not not giving out too much in social situations. Um, you know, not not from shyness, but just that sort of inner reserve. But they don't sex you. They don't think that you're like that. They think you're the complete opposite. <laughs> What body part they find most attractive about you? If you're a man, it's definitely your torso. Without doubt, it's the top half of your body. You probably look very fit. You've probably got a small waist and shoulders that are wider. So this could be an Aquarius. Feel they could, you could be, and if you're a man, you could be Aquarius, or have Aquarius strong in your chart, maybe rising sign or something, or somewhere else that affects your appearance. It's almost like a clean cut look. It's um, it's. If you're female, it's going to be exactly the same. It's going to be the relation of your chest and your waist and underneath your chest. So it's your proportions here rather than just your chest. It's something to do with your, your boobs and how they fit into your waistline and your shoulders. It's that part of your body and their proportions that they find very attractive. So if you wear like close fitting tops, that's what they will notice. And this to me is almost as to me is feeling, I don't know, Aquarius, I'm going to say Aquarius there because this person, Aquarius, just love 
to it's just an energy of that i'm not saying that you are but there's that energy of people who like to watch and sum up the world because they enjoy seeing what makes people click and there's that body type which is very sort of more wider shoulders thinner waist than a man and um, with a woman it's a long waist and sometimes you do have a long waist but it will just be the purport proportions of your chest breasts compared to your underneath your chest something about your neck and your shoulders which they find very very attractive okay do you make them nervous no but you don't make them nervous because they are they know what they want they are quite inside they're probably quite calm quite in control of themselves um in, in a almost i work myself out and how i fit into this world type of way um so you know you don't make them nervous they feel quite at ease with you they feel as if you connect on a deeper level so you don't actually make them nervous at all it's almost like a, fe a feminine you know really strong feminine feel from them and how you make them feel you make them feel relaxed you make them feel at ease you make them feel as if they could talk to you there's no need to put on sort of a macho outer image they just feel that they could connect to you really really strong in a connection between the pair of you so you, they, you they're not nervous around you they feel at home with you they feel you feel like family it's like a spiritual the feeling it's like a spiritual connection there what do they tell their friends about you they tell their friends that they'd like to have sex with you they tell their friends that they find you very very attractive sexually attractive um the really really strong pull towards you they want new beginning with you they want to have fun with you they want to this person might actually be more fire than you they want to take you out and do things to you i meant with you but not really really st physical physical strong attraction um yeah and they see you as a little bit more controlled a little bit more reserved they might not be, but they feel very strong um, in a in a pull. They identify with with probably where you're coming from. Okay, I'm gonna put two then. How are this of your sex life? Distant. They say about your sex life either they are thinking about it and getting nowhere because this man on here is just holding his rod and he's looking out there into the ocean. They would say they want it, they are very attracted to you, and they're not getting any. That's what they would say about your sex life at the moment. There's a lot of thinking, a lot of wanting, a lot of waiting for their ship to come in, and that's, that's they're holding their rod, waiting for their ship to come in. I don't know. What else can I say about that one? Um, strong, strong sexual pull to you. Feeling of being you, you're slightly more reserved and in a connection. The sexual, the sexual pull is very strong. Okay. The favorite moment with you is some. The favorite moment with you is when the situation has been open and when you have been. I would say almost you you could have gone out and got drunk together, or in definitely in a situation where you're both more relaxed. And this person was then able to show you their feelings and and their their love and their attraction towards you. And it might not just be drinking; it could be a situation. The situation you have had where you have both felt that you are most open and most loving with each other, even if you've slightly regretted it later. If you are a little bit more reserved, that's the moment that they hang on to. That's the moment that they think about. To me, it seems like you've been on some sort of celebration. You know, you're out partying. And this per this person has, you know, it's really warmed his heart or her heart and they felt really close to you. Or they felt that you've sort of relaxed a little bit and that's what they find really attractive. What do they want from you? Okay, they want you to somehow um, make, let me put another card with that. I'm going to say my first thoughts there as I pulled that over. Okay, just to sum up there, because the, the um, battery's going on my, on my camera. You've got quite a mixed pile here. Just to sum you up, now this person finds you really, really sexually attractive. They're just waiting for you 
um, and they also feel a deep spiritual bond with you and that's why they, they feel at ease with you when they're talking to you if you have communicated they, that if not that's how they imagine it but they see you as quite cool you're quite cool calm and collected person and there's some sort of anxiety if you're separated from each other there are, there are cards of separation definitely cards are separate here you know almost looking and waiting they feel that the response they're going to get from you is not going to match their own emotions what they are actually giving out if you are actually in contact with each other their favorite moment is when you have been laid back and cool um not not cool um but laid back and cool with them as in relaxed with them but they actually hope are hoping that you are going to be like marriage material. I get the general feeling that there's not a lot going on between that you might not know this person that well. But this person sees something in you, like a connection, that almost sees that there could be something quite um, committed about you, the pair of you as a couple. But I get the general feeling that they're not getting the feelings from you. And at the moment, it's at the stage where it's really, really strong sexual attraction. Because here, anxious about looking at your social media. Here, are you having a sexual relationship? No, he's just there holding himself. How do they find you? How do they see you? It's really, really sexually attractive. But how you come across to them are these cards, which are, are, I would say, very airy, very cool, very controlled. So you're sort of just looking and waiting. You're not coming forward to them. They feel in a connection with you. Their favourite moment with you is when you when you were like hoo-ha, chitty-charring at some party. And they see you as sort of marriage material. Why are you being so mean? Why am I being so mean to this person? Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Um, when I'm saying, I'm only joking, I'm saying, why are you being so mean? Basically, as I'm, what I'm saying is, you know the situation better than I do. Just take the bits that 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 you feel are true. Because just when the people say things, you cling on to it, you think, oh my God, yes, that's just confirmed it. Don't take it, you know, don't take it too much to heart. But they, at the moment, are feeling that you're holding back. And they find you very, very physically attractive. So it's up to you where you want to go with that. But they're almost looking for something a little bit more. Um, they're just looking for something a little bit more. Right, if you like that, could you press the like button? And um, if it resonates in any way, if you want more readings, press the um, subscribe button. Um, I always wonder why you have to say that because it always sounds like you're saying because you ought to say it but in reality, in reality you know you do, I enjoy making the videos but I need to know which ones resonate with you and which ones you know you like so that I know which ones to make um, anyway have a good evening or wherever you are or good morning if you've just woken up and um, I'll see, hopefully see you again soon